Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the show. I am your host, Mike Malatesta. On this podcast, I dig in deep with every guest to get to the roots of their success, to discover not just how it happened, but why it matters. My mission is to expose the ideas and clues you need to inspire, activate, and maximize the greatness in you. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to a Friday solo episode with me. And today I am going to talk to you about Kekich's Credo. So I have this important drawer in my office and I, it's one of those like big pull out drawers, like a credenza type drawer. And in that drawer is a place where I put things that I find interesting and I print out or I cut out of something for some reason, but I don't know yet what to do with them. So it's it's a very useful drawer for me. It's kind of like a, a, a junk drawer in a kitchen where <clears throat> I put stuff that I know I'm going to have a use for, or I think I'm going to have a use for, but then a lot of times I actually end up forgetting about them. And <laughs> I, um, I first heard about and read David Kekich's Credo last year, <clears throat> so 2021, and I thought it was interesting enough to print and put in my important drawer. And, um, and that's as far as it went. Um, until last week, or two weeks ago, maybe it was. And I was in that drawer, and I was looking for some other important thing that I knew I had saved in there. And when, when I was looking, I found his credo, which I had printed out, as I mentioned, and I began rereading it. And that's when I got curious, like, who was this Kekich guy and why did I save this? So I came to find out, I did a little research, I came to find out that David was paralyzed in an accident when he was 35 years old. And he spent the next 43 years in a wheelchair before passing away in 2020 or 2021. What was so interesting is that this guy did not feel sorry for himself or his quote unquote bad luck. Instead, David devoted his life to understanding how to extend his life and all lives and to being able to walk again, which sadly did not happen, at least not yet. David's body's been frozen and is being preserved at a a company called Alcor, A-L-C-O-R, with the hope that a future medical breakthrough can bring him back to life and heal him as well. I've heard about these places. I've never actually looked uh, at what's involved in doing it, but it got me thinking that maybe I should and maybe you should because... I mean, when you think about it, there's a pretty good likelihood that somewhere down the road, 10 years, 20 years, 30, 100, there are going to be a lot more cures than there are now. Um, And this cryogenic or frozen thing, uh, maybe there's something to that if you can afford it. And it's, um, if nothing else, it's an interesting experiment in the future. But anyway, David's story reminded me of Sam Schmidt's. And if you haven't heard of Sam Schmidt, he is an ex IndyCar driver, and he's a current IndyCar uh, team owner as well. Uh, Arrow McLaren is the name of his team. Um, Sam was paralyzed in uh, in an accident, uh, car accident, around the same time uh, as David, around the same age as David, and he's committed his life to conquering. Paralysis. So Sam is paralyzed from the neck down. And uh, he, he, well, first of all, you can learn more about Sam in the podcast that I did with him on, uh, which was episode number 128, Sam Schmidt. Um, and it thought, it, it got me thinking, you know, the connection he's we're focused on, you know, conquer paralysis now. 
Um, David's already passed away. He's frozen. He did a lot of work to try to get to the point where he could walk. Sam's goal is also to walk. I imagine everyone who is uh, paralyzed or has a spinal cord injury is um, is looking to uh, walk or certainly have more mobility than they, they, they have presently. And it got me thinking that maybe Sam's work and his, his uh, nonprofit's work will actually help make David's wish happen at some point in, in the future. But if you want to learn more about David Kekich, um, like here's an example. Here's his credo number seven. And he's got a hundred. Uh, I think it's a hundred of these. Um, you're successful when you like who you are and what you are. Success includes achievement while choosing and directing your own activities. It means enjoying intimate relationships and loving what you do. If, <clears throat> believe me, this is worth checking out. Um, you can find it, this, uh, his book is called Master Life on Amazon. Uh, you can find it there, the, the credo is in there, but you can also find it for free online, uh, Kekich's Credo, K-E-K-I-C-H, uh, apostrophe S, Credo, C-R-E-D-O. Uh, Genius Network is a website that uh, has a very nice presentation of the hundred, so it's well formatted. You can print it out and read it uh, very easily or read it online as well. So Kekich's Credo, something to, uh, to, to think about checking out. Um, uh, I've got it out of my junk drawer or my save drawer now, my important drawer now, and uh, now it's out in the world to you. So please do check it out. And, and before I sign off, I have two asks for you. The first, um, if you like what I'm doing in my Monday episode where I interview, um, I have conversations with really high performers um, to try to get to the root of, you know, how it happened for them and why it matters. And and my Friday episodes, these solo episodes, these short little nuggets of um, just me sharing something that I hope will be valuable to you. If you like what I'm doing there, please consider subscribing to the show or following the show on Apple or Spotify or wherever. <clears throat> you can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. So that's ask number one. Ask number two is if you want to experience more of my thinking, I invite you to subscribe to my newsletter, which you can uh, do at my website, which is my name, Mike Malatesta, M-A-L-A-T-E-S-T-A.com. Uh, you can subscribe right there. And every Thursday, you will get my uh, Inspire, Activate, and Maximize Greatness uh, blog slash newsletter. And I've got sort of five bullet points in there. It probably takes five minutes to read it. There's all, always a video um, component to it. So there's a video clip that's uh, usually short that you can check out as well. I hyperlink to um, the things I'm talking about and, you know, check it out and let me know what you think. Uh, so that's it for today. Thank you for joining me for this episode. And until next time, maximize your greatness.